like fighting anyone else for me, you know. I go in there and I, I fight so much that, I mean, the, the one great thing about Josh is that he stayed and fought. You know, he, he didn't back up, he didn't run, and that's what made it a good fight. You know, I mean, that's the kind of guy I am too. I'm not trying to run away, so I'm sitting in the pocket, and let's get the action going. You know what, fighting the Trigon was uh, a little bit different. I mean, I liked it because the pressure stayed on. There was no really room to run, which is what I like. And, uh, you know, my opponent Burns was, is not a runner, so it made it more more fun for me. You know what, the most difficult part of fighting the Trigon, there is none. It's awesome, it keeps the person right there in your face, no room to run, circle around far away, so it keeps the action going, I love it. My breakdown of the fight, it just came down to, uh, I use my uh, boxing skills. You know, I, uh, I I don't show them that much, but with Josh being a heavy hitter, I figured, you know what, if I can pepper him enough, distract him so he can't get that clean shot off and try and knock me out, you know, hey, I got, I got this. Uh, you know, when, when his eyes started bleeding, I knew that was a start. Just like a shark, when they smell blood, hey, let's go attack. And just keep the pressure on there. And I, I figured the more I can cut him, the more it's gonna disrupt him. Any fighter, you, when I get cut, it throws me off. It makes me think about that cut. You know, how bad is it? You know, it's gonna keep bleeding. It's gonna get in my eyes and affect me. So that's all I was going for, you know? Get in his head. I noticed Burns was uh, gassing a little early. And I think came with, with nerves. Because when he came out of the ring, I looked right, when he got in the ring, I looked at him, he, I, I could see he was a little bit nervous, you know, he was breathing a little heavy. He's covering his sweat, so that means he was, he was you know, warming up at the back. And that's one thing I don't like doing. I, don't, I never warm up at the back because I don't want to gas out in the ring. And a lot of times, you know, you warm up a little extra hard in the back because you want to break that first wind, and uh, you pay the price in the ring. You know what, uh, well, I just got invited back. So, uh, you know, depending on when they give me the next fight, and. Uh, when someone else drops out of another venue or stuff, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm on call. If you got a fight, a fighter and, and someone drops out and you need a replacement, I'm your guy. You know what, I have a big martial arts background and uh, BYB, you know, it's, it's a little different, but it's what I've been looking for. You know, I mean, in, in MMA, kickboxing, Muay Thai, boxing, all, all those sports that I've done, they all got gloves. They all got, I mean, there's rules here, but they're different. And, and the, what I love is this is the most, the closest I'm going to get to a street fight. I've never been in all my fights, all my time, my, my life, I've never been in one single street fight. So these are my street fights right here. And this is where I'm like, okay, you know what? Let's do it. You know what? Dada and bringing, bringing that backyard aspect is, like I said, what, what, it's what I've been waiting for. You know, throughout my martial arts, I've been wanting to fight in the streets, but for some reason, nobody wants to fight me. Well, now... I get paid to do it in here, in the Trigon. So, I mean, it, it's awesome, man. I get that, that street street brawl feeling, and I get paid for it, so it's, it's awesome. I gotta thank this guy right here. All or nothing clothing, man. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here. He gave me a call and said, hey, they're looking for someone. You wanna put your name in? I said, definitely. So all or nothing clothing right here, my man. He hooked it up big time. And you know, he hooks it up with everything. My gear, my shorts, anything I need, he's there for me. So he, he's awesome, but also, uh, Avenger Cycles, you know, they, they fix my motorcycle whenever I have a problem over in California. Unbreakable mouthpieces, that's that mouthpiece that keeps this looking good. OC Fight Doctor, <laughs> they always, you know, if, if I'm broke anywhere, they adjust me. They, I mean, they're great for everything, you know, in, in rehabs, all that kind of stuff, they take care of me. So thanks a lot to you guys. And uh, big thanks to my kids because, I mean, they're the ones that motivate me. You know, my 12-year-old my daughter, Kira, told me, if you don't win, I'm going to beat you up myself when you get home. So, therefore, I, I didn't want to go home and get another beating, so let, let's, let's do it here. But thanks a lot to everybody, all oh, the fans too, you know. I do this for you guys, you know, because I want to put on a show. And that's why, you know, we went five rounds. I ain't looking for, for knockouts. I mean, if they come, they come, you know, but Josh Burns is a tough guy. So, I mean, he was taking the shots, and I was just making him bleed, you know, giving you guys a show, and I love it. Thank you guys a lot. My name is Tony Lopez. This is Bare Knuckle News, and nobody beats us to the punch.